Welcome in to Drew's Daily Diamond for Monday, July 29th, 2024. I am Drew Martin breaking down the slate of games. Let me know in the comments below what your MLB picks are for today, where you agree, where you disagree. All is welcome. Helps out the algorithm, guys. So, uh, hey, no waiting around here. Getting off the week started with a hopefully a couple winners here as we got a big one. First game up, 640 Eastern time in Philadelphia. Best team in baseball record-wise. That's the Phillies, 65 and 40, hosting the New York Yankees, sitting at 62 and 45 themselves. Luis Gill on the hill for the Bronx Bombers. Zach Wheeler going for the Phillies. Phils, minus 140 home favorites, total of nine. Possible World Series preview here. And the Yankees, look, they've been great on the road. 35 and 22 road record. Now the Phillies have been great at home. So a lot of like plus look to bet on kind of statistics coming in this. And it, and it translates to the pitchers as well. Luis Gill on the hill, 3-1 ERA, three straight starts, one earned run given up, 24-2 to two strikeout to walk ratio. This guy's been great for the Yankees. That's against the Red Sox, the Orioles, and the Mets. So three good lineups as well. And Zach Wheeler, 2-5 ERA for the Phillies, 3-2 FIP, 133 strikeouts. He, he, he's been solid as they come. The only thing with the Phillies is they've lost three of four. They've lost three of their – they're just three and seven, their last ten overall. So they're not playing their best baseball here. And laying, a, laying you know, 40 cents, it's a, it's a little bit – I just think it's a, too, a little bit too expensive on the Phillies, guys. They're up against the Yankees here who just won two straight against the Red Sox. They scored 26 runs in those three games in that series. So they've been seeing the ball pretty well. I If they can put up a couple runs here against Wheeler, I like this kid, Gil. We've been betting on him a couple times, and the Yankees overall have been hot. Actually, since the All-Star break, the number one hitting team in all of baseball, whereas the Phillies bottom 10 in all of baseball. So we're kind of Ride the hot and fade the cold right now with the Yankees. And we're getting plus 125, risk 100 to win 125. It's the Bronx Bombers over the Phillies to start us off this week. Heading to the next one, the Queen City up next, 7-10 Eastern start time. NL Central battle here with the Cubs and the Reds. We get Carson Spears on the hill for the Big Red Machine. Jamison Tyon going for the Cubbies. Total of nine. Minus 108, so near pick em price tag, that's Cincinnati as the short home favorite. 51 and 56, that's the Cubs on the season. Cincinnati 50 and 55, these two teams 4 and 5 in the division. Although, you know, if they could go on a big run, maybe get back into the NL wild card, but uh, we'll see if that happens. Now the Cubs come in, winners of two straight against the Royals. They've scored 16 runs their last two games, so hitting the ball well. They got tie. Jamison Tyon on the hill, the 32-year-old out of Woodlands, Texas, sub-3 ERA. He just went seven-plus innings, one earned run with four hits last time out against the Brewers. So he's he's riding a, a hot right arm, and he's up against Carson Spears here. It's his first start since July 12th. He went on the IL, the 15-day IL, with a shoulder injury. Anytime I see that, like shoulder, elbow with starting pitchers and their first start back, I'm a little hesitant to bet on him. Plus, he gave up 14 hits and seven earned runs his last nine innings over his last two starts before that. So some question marks there. In Cincinnati, they played three road series out of the All-Star break. So this is their first home game in like three weeks. Uh, that's kind of a fade spot for me. And this lineup for the Reds has been cold. Not that the Cubs have been hitting the ball all that well, but the, the Reds have been one of the coldest lineups in baseball. Bottom five against righties. I think it's a, a, a little wrong team favored here. Let's jump on the Cubs. Minus 102. Just risk 102 to win 100 Cubs over the Reds. Heading to New York. Up next, City Field this time. We get 7-10 Eastern time. Minnesota Twins, New York Mets. Jose Quintana, the lefty, going for the Metropolitans. Simeon Woods Richardson on the hill for the Twins. Eight and a half being the total. Minus 115. That's the Mets is the home favorite. Both these two teams, you know, uh, over 500, the Mets five games over. What, Minnesota, 58 and 46. Nothing to uh, kind of shake your head at there for the Twins. In Richardson, their starter, 23-year-old, solid year overall, 3-2 ERA. He went six innings, zero earned last time out against the Phillies. He's not a guy we're ne necessarily looking to go against. It's just 
Jose Quintana for the Mets, he's been bet on. Two earned runs or less, six of his last seven starts. He's a guy that we've been kind of betting on a bunch, and he's been uh, you know, paying dividends. So we're not going to look to go against them here. This Mets lineup's been good overall, good against righties. Just 15 cents. This isn't a best bet by any means, guys. But if you're needing something in City Field, I would be on the Mets over the Twins. Next one up, we head to St. Louis, Texas Rangers, St. Louis Cardinals. Andre Palante on the hill for the uh, Redbirds. Nathan Eovaldi on the hill for the Rangers. 745 Eastern start time here. It's the Rangers. Minus 15 cents as the road favorite. Eight in the hook being the total. Texas comes in four games under 500. You know, it looked like they were going to go on a run there because they, they won five straight games, but they were just swept by the Toronto Blue Jays. Unfortunately, we were on one of those. And so they've, they've lost three straight here. They've been a team that's been streaky, up and down. So losers of three straight, I'm not so sure I'm, I'm ready to bet on them here. They got Eovaldi on the hill, great career. He's kind of been up and down this season, 3-3 three, three ERA. He's up against Andre Palante here for uh, for the Cardinals. And I like this guy, 25-year-old out of Cal Irvine, 3-9 ERA. Three of his last four starts and five of his last seven starts, he's given up one earned run or less. So he's been hot. He's a guy that throws 95, 96 miles per hour. The Cardinals have been great against righties. Now, I know you have all the, like, a, a solid kind of, career starter here but this is the top 10 lineup against righties they have that righty lefty dichotomy to the positive here they got the slightly better bullpen we're gonna list andre palante not the big name here but uh catching a plus price on the cardinals at home I think the home dog is barking so it's the cardinals plus 102 over the texas rangers we got next one up eight o'clock eastern hour pittsburgh pirates houston astros jake bloss on the hill for the strohs Paul Skeens on the hill for the Pirates, commanding a minus 145 price tag, seven in the hook being the total. It's Houston at home in Minute Maid, catching a plus price. Ooh, this, this was a, a very interesting handicap, guys. First off, we get the Pirates, a game over 500, very much in the playoff mix. We've seen them stretch Paul, Paul Skeens out. I believe last time he went like eight and a third innings. So th they probably got their eye on maybe uh, punching a ticket here into the playoffs. And look, Paul Skeens overall, LSU, number one pick overall just last season, right into the major leagues, 97 to 13 strikeout to walk ratio. And when you look at kind of bringing in his minor league numbers, this guy's got 142 strikeouts this year with the minor leagues and the majors. And we did this last time, but I think it's a good exercise, guys, because DraftKings, right before I went live, I just, just checked it out. I can't, I'm down in Mexico, so I couldn't bet it at DraftKings, but I know a lot of you guys out there have a DraftKings account. Sure enough, they're posting his strikeout props, seven in the hook, plus 125 to the over. So you could risk 100 to win 125 if he gets more than seven and a half strikeouts. Well, I'll just read it off here, guys. His last nine games, eight strikeouts, 11, eight, nine, eight, seven, eight, eight, nine. This guy is racking up some strikeouts and also going up against the Houston Astros. Their team OPS is like 50 points lower against power pitchers, guys that throw over 95 miles per hour. Well, Paul Skeens, I mean, he, he's hitting triple digits. I like the over seven and a half. We've been riding it. You know, it's one of those things in sports betting. Don't don't if it's not broken, don't fix it. And we've been betting his strikeout prop to the over and cash. And we're going to do it again here, guys. So that's the best bet. In Minute Maid, it is uh, Paul Skeens over strikeouts. If you don't like betting K props, I actually, I don't, it's not one that I love, but maybe the Houston Astros at a plus price. Last time Paul Skeens went out, they actually lost. It's not like the Pirates offense is all that great. And they were laying, what, minus 170 in that game. Now they're laying minus 145 against an Astros team that's five games over 500, tied in first place in the AL West. They're playing important baseball right now. If you need something sidewise, I would go on the Astros. But for 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 uh, for the show, we'll go on Paul Skeens over seven and a hook for a strikeout prop. Got one game left, guys. Um, if you could comment below, it helps out the algorithm. Your best bets, where you're watching from, all is welcome, guys. Where you agree, where you disagree. If you're interested in premium picks, check them out. WagerTalk.com, experts page, Drew Martin. Got a, uh, 
a best bet up and available for uh, the Monday slate, a game that we're not going to talk about on the show, but uh, just released it this morning. Really like it. So check it out. Drew Martin, wagertalk.com, best bet up and available. All right. Last game on the card, 940 Eastern, Washington Nationals, Arizona Diamondbacks in the desert. Battle of lefties. Jordan Montgomery going for the D-backs. Mitchell Parker for the Nationals. Total of nine. Minus 165, that is Arizona as the home favorite. They've come in winning four of their last five. They're four games over 500. The Nationals, look, they're sitting right around that plus 10 unit mark in terms of for the overall season. They have been a good bet. They've fallen off a little bit of recent. They're just 49 and 57. They did win two two of three over uh, the weekend, scoring 27 runs in their last three games. So the offense has woke up a little bit. I, I'm not going to get on him here, though, because Mitchell Parker, the Nats starter, he struggled. 11 earned runs his last two times out, only lasting four innings total, five walks there. So struggling with some control. And we talked about the offense seeing it well. They're up against Jordan Montgomery, the guy that signed late this season. He really hasn't lived up to the expectations. Over six ERA on the season, been very up and down. I think both of these two lineups, you know, can are able to get on base take the extra base, you know, steals, things of that nature. And Arizona has been very good against lefties, top 10 lineup out of the all-star break. Both pitchers have struggled. We get a total of nine here, kind of, I think it's going to play more to a hitter's ballpark against these lefties, guys. I think we get up and over. Would not be surprised at all if this game gets into the double digits. So for the last game on the card, uh, let's go Nationals. D-backs up and over nine. In recap, we got Paul Skeens over seven and a hook strikeouts plus 125. We are on St. Louis as the home dog over the Rangers. We got the New York Mets minus 115 over the Minnesota Twins. Chicago Cubs slight dogs over the Cincinnati Reds in the first game up. Best bet for the show. New York Yankees as the underdog over the Phillies listing Luis Gill as the starter plus 125 on the Yankees guys thanks for tuning in for the Monday show we'll be back early with the Tuesday show smash that like button comment below cash those tickets